Hi everyone! Today we're going to read another section from our book called Where Did My Clothes Come From? So we've already learned about where your jeans come from and how those are made and where your party dress comes from and how that's made. Remember, jeans come from cotton plants. We use cotton to make jeans and we learned that party dresses are made from the silk made by silkworms, which are tiny little caterpillars from white moths. And so you have to take that silk and then use that to make your party dress or other fancy clothes, not just party dresses. Today, the type of clothing, clothing we're going to learn about is sports uniforms. So this section says, what is your soccer uniform made of? So think for a minute, do you have any ideas? Do you think your soccer uniform might be made out of something from an animal, like how wool is made from sheep? Or do you think that it could be made out of something from a plant, like how jeans are made from cotton? Let's find out. This says, your soccer uniform is made of fibers invented by scientists. That's why they're called synthetic or artificial fibers. So they don't come from nature at all. They're made by humans. It says they have scientific names like polyester and nylon. So let's learn the different steps for how to make a soccer uniform. This says, step number one, Synthetic fibers start as a mixture of chemicals that make a kind of sticky syrup. So here they're pouring the chemicals in. Number two says inside a machine, the syrup is squeezed through tiny holes and into thin strands that harden into fibers. So that's what's happening inside the machine. Number three says the fibers are pulled over rollers and twisted to make a thicker, stronger yarn. Then the yarn is round, wound onto reels. So here are the reels where they're winding it up. Now the yarn is ready to be dyed and woven into cloth. So remember when they dye clothes, they're changing it into a different color. Cloth made of synthetics is great for sports clothes. They wash easily, dry fast, and don't need ironing. So no one has to try to get the wrinkles out. They don't really get wrinkly. It says, that way, whoever washes your clothes probably loves synthetics too. It makes it easy for them. I hope you enjoyed learning about your soccer uniform and that you keep tuning into these videos so you can learn more about how some other clothing gets made too. Have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you soon.